Hey guys, welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you how to make a little peep type beat. Now, I know my audio is crap, so I'm trying to not speak that much. But uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoy this video and let's get into the first step and be sure to leave a like and recommend if there's anything else you want to hear. So the first thing you want to do is get a sample. Now you're probably going to want to get a guitar sample, like a sad sounding guitar sample. There are a few good websites that you can get this from, such as Looperman, which is where I got mine. It gives you a bit of the details as well sometimes. But you can also find these samples from YouTube and pretty much there are many websites that you can get these from. So just find a good sample and put it up into whatever software you're using. I'm doing this in Logic because I'm most familiar with it. But you can use whatever you like to do this, such as FL Studio. It should work pretty much the same depending on how well you know the program. So yeah, let's just listen to the sample that we've got. So the next thing you're just going to want to do is you're going to want to find the tempo of the actual sample. You can change the tempo of the sample, but yeah, you just want to find the tempo that matches the original sample to start off with. You can use the BPM counter in under metering in Logic or whatever program you're using, you can do that. Or you can go to websites such as I did, just BPM tapper, and if you can just feel the BPM, you can just tap it out. With the drums to start off, I just played it out on my MIDI controller on the drum pads and then I just quantized it, but it's just as easy to do this if you don't have a MIDI controller or a drum pad. You can just write them into whatever program you're using just as easy, just with the pen tool or whatever. So yeah. So for the drums, I'm just going to speed this up real quick, but what you're going to want to do is you want to use drums that have like lots of percussion and you're going to want to have hi-hat rolls with different types of hi-hats. You want to keep everything with a lot of reverb, doesn't really matter what type, I just add a lot of reverb to pretty much everything. Just get your drums sounding nice and echoey, I guess, I don't really know what to say. But yeah, so the drums individually, for the clap, what I just did was I layered together a just standard clap and a snare with a lot of reverb on it. And then moving on to the kick. For the kick, what I just did was just standard kick pattern and I used my MIDI controller, but you can use whatever you want. For the open hi-hat, again, I just used the MIDI controller, I added a bit of reverb to that, but it's just a st your standard open hi-hat that you'd use in pretty much any trap beat. For the percussion, what you want to do is, I just chose some percussion that just kind of sounded normal pretty much, and I just added, again, just a lot of reverb onto it, just to get it sounding normal. Nice and sad, I guess, if that's what you want to use. So for the hi-hat, I just used the hi-hat and I added a couple rolls there, which were kind of pitched up and down. But otherwise, it's just a pretty standard hi-hat, again, with a bit of reverb. And what I did for some other hi-hats, just to add a bit more bounce to the track, is I added a low hi-hat. And 
For the snare roll, what I just did was I opened up a sampler. I didn't actually use the sampler I was using for my other drums, but I opened up Alchemy and I imported a snare and I just played the snare and I pitched it down so it was kind of like a do -do -do -do, like kind of roll. And then I did that again, except just down an octave pretty much. And all the jumps together sound like this. What I did next was I decided to add some other melody so that when I arranged it, it would kind of change up and it wouldn't be so repetitive. So what I did was I, I the first thing I did was I went and I created a half time just of the original sample, just using half time. Next thing I decided to do was add almost a counter melody. I'm not completely happy with how this turned out, but when I was arranging the beat, it seemed to work. So I decided to leave it in. I probably should have put this in with the drums, but I also decided to add an 808. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish arranging this beat. Uh, so we've got all the parts we need. Okay, so now that I've arranged the beat, I added a couple of like a vox, I added a few rises and a reverse gunshot sound and just added a couple automations just to make it flow better. And yeah, this is the finished beat. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you like this video. You can get this beat 100% free. I'll be uploading it to my channel as soon as possible. And be sure to like this video and here's the beat.